Um, one of those little royal people was the, in there. Uh, Prime Minister of Canada, France, and then uh, Bo- oh, Boris, the new oh. Prime Minister of uh, England. Okay. And they were uh, making fun of Trump. And they were like, oh, is he here? And they were like, no, he won't be here for 40 minutes. He's always late. Because mm-hmm. he's got to do a press conference for 40 minutes everywhere we go. Right. Um, Jealous. It, it this seems is a bunch of girls sitting around. It's weird, talking right? Talking shit about their hotter friend. It's weird, right? Mm-hmm, but that's all it is. Uh, like I, to me, I don't actually understand what the big deal is. I mean, are people up in arms, or it's just kind of a little bit weird? It's strange got- to see other leaders making fun of another one over gossipy shit, like because it. It's just true, though. It's like high school. Well, but it's here's the thing. So when I'm I saw sure it, he does have to like stand outside, talk. Nobody wants to talk to them. They no. get to go right, right exactly. in. Exactly. Right. So yes, yeah. I'm sure it is true it that is. he actually is late it's true. all the time. To- yeah. Yes. So uh, it's true, and like uh, I don't. I think the reason like people aren't up in arms about it is there's nothing to be. Up in arms. Well, a they're well, talking shit about Trump, and probably everybody's down for it. But but the the other part of it is is uh, I think this is what we all assumed, but we've never had access like that to like what are their conversations? Yeah, I've never heard any of these motherfuckers. I remember Obama got caught on a hot mic with with uh, Putin, the guy from Russia. About uh-huh. you know what did he? He said, "Look, man, after this next election, we can work some things out." You remember that one? That was I a big deal at the so, time, or yeah. people thought it was a big deal. I, right? I, I didn't really because I was like, the only thing I thought it was a big deal about that statement was that. He hadn't been reelected yet, but he sure, yeah, 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 yeah. But like, he was ah, like, "That's a ballsy ah, one, okay, bro." But that's what I figure goes on behind the 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 scenes. But you catch that like that like one line here or there, not a group of them, and all laughing and laughing and gossiping like it was in like like they were in a hallway of high school. And I, me personally, I actually enjoyed it. Because, I I enjoy it. I think it it makes them seem like. Real. Jealous. Well, but there's but jealous, jealous and real. And Do you know real. what I mean? To where you're like, you know, it's actually not shit talking him. Yeah. They're, what they are saying is good, right? That people want to talk to him or whatever. I guess maybe not. I, I don't know. No, I, he shouldn't it, be late all the time. It seemed to me. Sure, well, there's nothing you can do. When, it's just a crush of reporters, and all they want to talk to is him. Yeah. Like he dominates news around the world and still continues to do so. Even this story last night, like they're ra- they just wrapped up with that impeachment inquiry bullshit, right? Mm-hmm. I guess. And uh, <laughs> do you say wrapped up? Yeah, yeah. Where they're like, eh, we, we've we've kind of got our summations, and I, we have enough here, and I think we want to press forward with with the impeachment thing, right? Um, oh, okay. But there's still like I don't know three or four people to talk, and they don't know what they're going to do with daytime and all this other stuff. Buried again. Yeah. The impeachment thing has been buried by Trump doing something else somewhere else. And it just continuously happens over and over and over again. And if you don't have this stuff, again, I looked at this thing last night. I don't know. It was a slow news day. Um, the impeachment thing's not really going anywhere. People aren't. If you don't have that story, you don't really have anything news wise. And like everybody ran with it Trevor Noah and uh, Colbert and all those guys. In which they should, obviously, like with any president, really wouldn't matter. Like that's a pretty funny story. Um, but it, let's say you don't have that yesterday. You're just sitting there with a pile of nothing on your desk. If you're a writer, of like, all right, great. What are we doing today? There it is. Exactly. Trump's you know, always the savior of this. More and more, I think that Veep is like real. Probably it's right? written by. I mean, everyone on their staff. Most a lot of people on their staff have been in the political realm, and they do. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I. That's how I think it is. Yeah, and I don't have a problem with it being that way. Do you know what I mean? Where they are real people, they close the doors, they talk about things in a real way. Like, how the fuck are we going to spin this shit? Sure, you know they do, right? Sure. Oh, look at this motherfucker! He's got to do a fucking press conference for an hour. Yeah. See you in a sec. You know what I mean? I that's how Veep is. I think that's how they really are. I don't know. I, but now you have to worry more about the hot mic and who's recording you and who wants to write the book and blah blah blah. So I don't think it goes on as much. But in my mind, that's how it's always been.